So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem till niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRog447 back at it again with another NCAA Basketball 10 video and it is the Hofstra Pride going up against the Gonzaga Bulldogs, LK. We're ranked 20th in the nation after that big win against uh, Oklahoma. I think we should have moved up a little more, especially, especially it was an away game, <gasps> but we have, a big, we have a big away game today as we're going up against the Gonzaga Bulldogs, also known as the Zags in the kennel. One of my friends... He's a big Gonzaga fan, all right? And, you know, as you guys may know, they did lose in the national championship game. So he was very, very mad about that. But I was very happy because, you know, my, my team's Carolina, all right? So I was amped. I wasn't, like, if Carolina would have won last year, I would have been more amped. Only because this year I felt as though, like, I was like, okay, this is unfinished business, so y'all better win. It wasn't like, oh my god, we're gonna win. It's like, you guys better fucking win. Okay, that's how I felt. But anyway, you guys see, we're out to a nice lead already. 4-3 with about 11-29 left to go. Doug Gibbons gets the ball on the perimeter. Throws an alley to Tyson Chambers, who gets the layup to go. So it is now 6-5. Joshua Everidge pushing the ball up. Court's gonna pass to Doug Gibbons, who fades away. Fade away. Knocks down that jumper, making it 8-5. With 10.45 left to go. So, Tyson Chambers has the ball. He's going to pass it out to Damian Dunn. Damian's going to pass it out to Joshua Everett, who knocks down the long two. And he puts us up by five. So, Damian Dunn passing it to Devin Kennedy. Devin Kennedy going up the court. Going to do a nice little hop, step, and layup. Gets the bucket to go in transition. So, we're doing well so far. And Derek Daniels commits the foul on Damian Dunn. So, he'll be going to the line. You guys see averaging some nice numbers. Some nice numbers. All right, hopefully he doesn't leave us. But honestly, this might be the last. The The substitution glitch is really messing me up with this game, and I hate it because I do want to get, like, at least two of two of them involved, uh, one of them being Jared Griffith and maybe Vance Dobson because he has a little size. He's just not that good. But it, it just kills me with the sub glitch. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so you guys see the score. 24 to 13. We're just we're just crapping on these bulldogs, but they do get a bucket to go, so they're not dying yet. But Gallery, he has six points, and oh look at the near steal by Joshua Everish. Uh, if you do that in this game, you might get a steal almost every time. If you just gotta push him to that outside, and it just might work. So you guys see Joshua Everish calling for a pick from Tyson Chambers. He's gonna do a nice little step back, pulls up, knockdown. Just knocked down. So it is now 26 to 20 as we are leading. And oh, look at the alley. Well, that alley didn't really work, but I guess it did. It was a bad pass. It was a. I tried to alley, and it just didn't work. But hey, it kind of worked in in the end. All right. So the Zags have the ball. Shoot up a three. Knock it down. So they're trying to trying to close that margin up a little bit as they're only down by five with 4:25 left to go. And they hit a dunk inside. We got to start doing something. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, this needs to stop. And Jared Griffith, he's going to stop it right now. As he knocks down a three, putting us up by six. Griffith with the ball. He's going to do some nice, fancy dribble, spin move, filet. Woo -woo. And he gets that layup to go. Up by five. Doug Gibbons gets the layup to go. We're up by seven. 38 seconds left to go in the first half. Five seconds left. Jared Griffith trying to break down the defender. Filet. Woo -woo. Knocks down the three. No, actually, it was a two. It was a two. But either way, we go into halftime with a nine-point lead in a hostile environment. All right. You come to Spokane. It's not going to be an easy game. You got to see we're shooting 62%. We're just, uh, they're shooting 37, but they're still only within nine points. So we're not going to stay at 62%. So... We're going to have to keep on trying. We're going to keep on working if we want to win this game. All right, so into the second half of action, you guys see Tyson Chambers with the ball. He's going to pull up on a kid as he knocks down that jumper on an 8-0 run. Okay, we, we're doing a little son son out there. All right, and also, guys, tell me in the comments who you're rooting for in the NBA uh, to win it all. I'm not really, like, rooting for anybody, but if I had to pick somebody, it would probably be the Warriors. I know if the... The Spurs, like, if Kawhi didn't get injured, the Spurs would have won that. And, honestly, the Spurs are the Warriors' worst nightmare. Jonathan Simmons, he brings a lot of energy. A lot of it. All right, as you guys know, Kawhi, he's a defensive problem. All right, so you put Jonathan on Curry and you put Kawhi on Durant, 
then you basically got to rely on what's his uh, Clay. And, you know, Clay, he's on and off some games. So that that's their crutch. But I do believe the Warriors play the Cavs. They could beat them. Uh, I have a, There's a good chance that the Spurs play them, that they could beat them as well. But the Celtics or the, the Celtics... Oh, the Wizards, they they not winning that. Let's just let's just put that to rest. The Cavs going to the finals. LeBron's making there a, a, another time. James Jones, he just puts the team. This dude, James Jones, been to like seven straight finals appearances. James Jones is a beast, to be honest. Forced to be reckoned with. But you got to see the score. We're starting to blow out the Zags right now with about 3.55 left to go. Up by 17. Uh, average still in the game. Go past the Givens with a nice slam inside. So... The Zags, I mean, they tried, you know, this, we, we usually do, we start off a little slow in the first half, but we pick it up in the second half, and the teams just can't, like, keep the pace with us, which results in us winning games, and we will never stop, like, we're running from the cops, all right, as you guys can see, we're up by a big margin, and ooh, what a nice layup by Josh Everidge right there, so up by 18 with 43 seconds left to go. Average has the ball. He's going to give it out to Dunn. Dunn's going to pass it to Griffith for another one. Another three. It's it's too easy out here for Jared. He, 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 he should have went to Jared, honestly. Should have. But you guys see the score. It's a blowout. The Gonzaga fans, they're pretty mad. They, they didn't expect this. They didn't expect the pride to come in here and knock off their beloved Zags. But we did. But we did, okay? I just had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it, okay? Don't get mad at me. So with seven seconds left, Tyson Chambers is just going to dribble out the clock. Oh, actually, yeah, we're just going to dribble out the No! Josh, why would you shoot? Josh, that's not nice. You see, that's disrespect. I I, I really don't co-sign that. I don't co-sign that. Don't don't just dribble out the clock. But, you know, Josh had to throw a little flavor in there. I don't know why. He almost had a double-double, though. He, that's why he probably did it. He, want, he wanted to get that double-double, but he, he he was short of one assist. And Jared Griffith, he went off. All right. He went off. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'm going to be the same dude. Split the money with my gang, too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe